Hey guys, we're Adam and Steph, and we've spent the last 11 months converting this old school bus into our very first tiny home on wheels. In previous episodes, we fabricated the structure of our rooftop deck using angle iron and unistrut channels. This week, we're doing the finishing touches with a little paint and deck boards. So we got pressure treated five fourths, so an inch and a quarter, by six by eight, which is like perfect. We just gotta cut a couple inches off the lengths of it and it'll fit perfectly across the entire width of the bus. I really like the color of this pressure treated. I didn't think I would, but against the blue and the black, it looks really good. So I did some math around the skylight. We need eight boards in the front, then another board with an inch and a half notch cut out of it, then another 14 boards cut at this shorter length around the skylight, and then another board with an inch and a quarter notch cut out of it, and then another four boards full length to go around the skylight perfectly and we won't have to rip any boards, like it's a perfect 28 boards across from front to back. So, perfect. Got part of our deck up. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks awesome. And it's gonna hug around the skylight nicely. Oh yeah. Boards are up, they're cut, they fit nice. Now we gotta bolt it all down. I'm gonna mark them, I'm going to number them, I'm gonna hand them down to Stephanie, and she's going to drill the holes, and then, when that's all done, they'll come back up, and then actually be assembled. So to recess bolts, it's pretty simple actually. You just need one of these spade bits. Adam marks the location for where I need to drill. So I just take my square, line it up, and then take the pointy middle bit and put it right in the middle of the board. So I just poke it in and then drill. We have this tape mark right here on this bit. So I stop there because that's sort of the thickness of the bolt head to make sure that it's nice and flush with the top of the board. Then we take our just normal wood bit at 3 8 because that's our bolt size and just go right through the middle. There we go, so let's test it out with our washer and our bolt. Just pop the washer in there and then put in the bolt. There we go.
got our spring nuts installed into the Unistrut. We've got it positioned right. Here's our board. Put in our washers. All of our hardware is stainless steel, so it don't rust. And we put our bolts in. Keep on doing that. 100 times. Just kidding, only 29. Actually, only 28. Times two. Times two. So this rooftop deck is far from finished. The ends are not clamped down and they are loose and none of the metal is painted. So I have some flat bar, and we are going to make this the top of a sandwich that squeezes all the boards down. We've decided to do this instead of bolting each board down individually because there'd be a lot of hardware involved in bolting every one of them down, and there'd be a lot, you'd see all of it at the bottom of the, of the rails. So this method reduces a lot of hardware and makes it a lot easier to just take this piece off and then all the boards in that section are free uh, and it just looks cleaner so i got the longest piece of flat bar here it goes all the way to the back of the deck and i've drilled a hole that matches this unistrut so i drilled a hole through this that lines up with the unistrut bracket and i've also drilled a hole in my board so there's the hole right here so the L line up together like that and like that. I think that this will look a lot cleaner than a bolt on every one of them that are visible. Okay, so I've been spending a lot of time on this piece of flat bar on the long side of the roof deck. I've been trying to figure out my spacing between each bolt. I'm trying to figure out how to utilize the uprights and the bolt that travels through those and create a pattern between them that will basically put a bolt through a board. There'll be two boards without a bolt through it and then the next board will have a bolt. And so basically this bar is going to squeeze down those two boards in between. Um, the boards keep shrinking. They've been up here for now a week and a half maybe two weeks, and they've shrunk probably four inches in total. When we first put it together, we thought we wouldn't have enough room for another board, and so we were gonna cut the metal rails to shorten it up, but over the last week or so, I've been noticing the gaps growing in between each board, and so I loosened them all off about three days ago, and I pushed them all forward, and it's almost a waiting game to let these dry enough that I can fit the board on without modifying the, the metal structure underneath it. So I'm gonna go through every bolt, loosen it, move them forward and see what I can get out of it. It's a lot of space. This is where I'm at. So I've got the end rails done and I'm just waiting for this board to fit. I'm this close right now. Before it was like a half a board, now it's, we only need another about half inch for this to fit in. So in the meantime, I'm going to take apart all of the metal, I'm going to number it, and then paint it. Alright, I think today's the day we finally install our ladder. So we got one 
a black one. We wanted to make sure we got a black one and not a chrome one. So that made it a little bit more difficult to find, but all I had to do was search on Google like black RV ladder and a website came up called Young Farts RV Parts. And I was like, heck yeah, I'm clicking on that. It was on sale, so we got it. And then about two or three weeks later, I'm like scrolling through TikTok. And then I see this TikTok of these two hick young guys at an RV like salvage yard and they're just shooting the shit together. It was so funny and I look at the handle and it's Young Farts RV Parts and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so iconic. Now, anytime we need any RV parts for our bus, we know where we're going. <laughs> so we're gonna be installing this on the back passenger side of the bus because we have like a nice little platform behind the skylight. Like it, it's just made for this ladder. That's where we're gonna be installing it. So let's get to it. The bottom of the ladder is going to attach to the bumper, but the bumper is such thick metal compared to like the sides of the bus. So we decided to scrap the hardware it came with and drill a slightly bigger hole and we're going to like bolt it with this hardware. We grabbed some bolts from the hardware store with lock nuts and this is also stainless steel. So here we are, we took off all of the uprights and all of the cross beams for our deck 
and we marked everything with our stamping tools that Cole let us borrow so that we don't mix them up because everyone has slightly different holes and you know we prefabbed everything we just want to make sure that we put them back in the same place and then we painted them they look so beautiful so glossy love it so let's put everything back together Humongous deck. The one perk of having a bigger bus, I guess, is that we have lots of room for solar panels and lots of room for deck, including this massive skylight. So I'm really excited to like chill up here and enjoy the views when we start traveling. Oh, it's just, it's really exciting. Yeah, it's our favorite place to hang out is up here. Yeah. Uh, we do have a couple playlists on our channel. We have an exterior playlist with everything that we've done on the exterior of the bus. And we have a rooftop setup playlist and that's a four part series. We've got the Unistrut video, the solar panel video, and the rooftop deck part one. And then this is part two. So if you haven't seen the rest of the series, definitely go check it out because everything sort of fits together and there's a reason why we did everything. So yeah. We love documenting all of our progress. It's really just so rewarding to see our videos come together and our progress that we make on the bus, even though sometimes we feel like we're going quite slow. We have a lot of hiccups. We're both very much perfectionists and it's just a lot of working through things, but all in all, I mean, I'm very ecstatic with the progress we've made in the last almost a year of working on this bus mm -hmm. so stay tuned because we have a lot of exciting things coming up including the whole interior of the bus yeah the whole bus is empty inside but this is finished it feels like a finished bus up here yeah from the outside it looks completely finished but the inside of the bus is completely still empty <laughs> everyone asks when are you going to start driving it mm. um, when it's done <laughs> yeah thanks for watching my arm's going numb <laughs> gonna have to drop the camera soon <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.